The problem statement in question 18 is as follows. The sum of the fourth and eighth terms of an AP is 24. The sum of the fourth and eighth terms is 24. And the sum of the sixth and tenth terms is 44. And we have to find the first three terms of the AP, which basically means we have to determine the AP or its parameters A and D, the first term and the common difference, because that will enable us to write the first three terms of the AP. So we have to find the, so the unknowns are the first term, which let's take it as A and the common difference. Let's take it as uh, D. So the unknowns are A and D. We have to find these unknowns and then we have to uh, determine the first three terms of the AP. Now the two pieces of information that are given to us, the first one is fourth and eighth terms. Their sum is 24. So we can write this as T4, the fourth term, plus T8, the eighth term, is equal to 24. And we are also told that the sum of the sixth and tenth terms, so T6 plus T10, this is equal to 44. Now what we will do is we will write each of these four terms in terms of A and D, and we will make use of the formula Tn or the nth term is A plus n minus 1 D. So let's do that. So let's take this equation for first T4 plus T8 is 24. So what is T4 in terms of A and D? So T4 is A plus n minus 1. So n minus 1 is 3. So A plus 3D. This is T4 and T8, which is the second term is A plus 7D. Um, n minus 1 is 7 for the eighth term. So A plus 3D plus A plus 7D is equal to 24 and to make sure that you are clear a plus 3d is t4 and a plus 7d is t8 and this gives us a linear equation in a and d so what is that linear equation 2a a and a is 2a and 3d plus 7d is 10d so 2a plus 10d is 24 and if i take out the common factor of 2 from the left hand side divide it on the right side i get a plus 5d is equal to 12. So this is the first equation in A and D and similarly we'll get another equation uh, using this second equation. So let's write that. So T6 is A plus 5D uh, because N minus 1 is 5 and then T10 the second term is A plus 9D. This should be equal to 44 and A plus 5D is T6 a plus 90 is T10. Okay. Now this will again give us another linear equation in A and D. So we have A and A that's 2A and we have 5D plus 9D that's 14D. This is equal to uh, 44 and dividing by 2 on both sides we get A plus 7D is equal to 22 and let's call this equation 2. So now if you observe carefully you have two you have two linear equations in a and d a plus 5d equal to 12 and a plus 7d equal to 22 so all we need to do is now solve this pair of equations and we can do this using elimination we can subtract the two equations and the a on the lhs will get eliminated so i am going to do by 2 minus 1 and what will that do so on the lhs the A terms will get cancelled out and I will have 7D minus 5D that's 2D and on the right side I will have 22 minus 12 that's 10 and this gives me D equal to 5. So the common difference of the AP is 5 and now if I plug this value of D into let's say the first equation I get A plus 5D so 5D is 25 because D is 5 so A plus 25 is equal to 12 and this means that A is equal to 12 minus 25 or minus 13. So the first term is minus 13 and the common difference is 5. And now it's very easy to write the first three terms of the AP. So the first term is minus 13. The second term is minus 13 plus the common difference 5. So that's minus 8. And the third term is minus 8 plus 5 again. So that's minus 3 and so on. This AP continues. So the first three terms of the AP are minus 13, minus 8 and minus 3.
to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers